So as you guys can see, it's auto hovering. So it returned home. That's interesting. So we lost control, said going home. All right, now we're getting control back. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are reviewing B Wines F7 GB2. This is their highly praised and newest drone. Um, you guys may have seen me review B Wine products in the past because I love their quality. So this is a 4K Wi-Fi camera, three axis stabilized gimbal, brushless motor, excellent night scene shot with shooting functions, modular design of gimbal tripod, super long remote control range. I know you guys want to actually get right to seeing the product, so let's go ahead and do that. So, oh, check this out. It even comes in a beautiful, look at this box. That is really nice. So you download the app right there, and you can use this with your phone. Check that out. Pause the video if you want to read what it says right here. Wow. That really nice we haven't even got to the drone yet and look at this they even have it in another protector we're gonna keep this box this is a really nice box in a nice protector bag so manual you got Disclaimer and safety guidelines, quick start guide, and then the user manual. And of course, it comes in a beautiful carrying bag. Almost looks like it would be similar to a lunch bag. Go ahead, open this up. By the way, I do want to point out that there is a spot in here, probably for manual and for other accessories. On the side here, a little pouch as well. On the side here, a little pouch. So you got multiple different areas. And here it is, what you guys have been waiting for. Wow, check that out. Check that beauty out. So there's the camera. It actually has a protector on the camera. That is really cool. So that just pops right off. And that protects your camera, keeps it from moving around, 4K Ultra HD camera. It's like a miniature GoPro, really nice. Make sure you peel off the plastic that's on the lens. SD card goes right in here, so put an SD card in there. Wow, this is really nice. All right, so in here, you charge the battery, type C, power it on, power button right there. Uh, to pull the battery out, you press down on this button that pulls out the battery. All right, guys, so for this, you unfold the arms downward. So you kind of have a downward motion and then just like that. So each arm, make sure you have this, um, you know, follow it. This arm goes backwards, just like that. Same on the other side, you would go start with the bottom or no, yeah, you would start with the bottom, downward motion. So like the other side, downward motion, up. So these work as a downward motion and just like to put it away, you would press down to move the blade. The front get pushed down, the back get pulled out to the side. And there you go, there you have it. All right, let's go ahead and open up. You guys can see, whoa, check out this amazing, amazing, remote control look at this perfect spot for your phone 
Wow, check that out, my friends. You got angle here, you got video, you got photo, uh, plus and minus, probably for zoom. This is really nice, my friends. Charger, so that's another nice thing. It's not, you know, regular batteries. You can actually charge this right in here. So you connect type C cable in here, peel this back. Beautiful, nice little screen here. Really nice. GPS location. Let's see what else they provide you in the bag. So they provide you with a spare battery. They provide you with a blade pack as well, which is always good. And that's it. Nice storage. So now the fun part, let's fly it. So we're going to go ahead and put an SD card inside here. It says up to 128 gigabyte SD card is supported. Good to know. So when you start it, it says the battery. If you press the power, it says 100%. You press it again, turns it on. So it's connecting, but we got to have the drone on. Okay, so as we see, drone is now powered on. All right, so as you guys can see here, the screen's on, we got our phone connected. Um, if we go ahead and move the camera around, you guys can see that it's following the camera. So now we're going out and we're gonna test, test it out. So as you guys can see, it's auto hovering. So it returned home. That's interesting. So we lost control, said going home. All right, now we're getting control back. We must have hit something or maybe the battery is getting uh, weak. We, uh, we lost the Wi-Fi signal, okay. So we're gonna hit control on here. All right, we got it now enabled back again. As you guys can see here, maybe not, it's pretty hard to see. So there's definitely got some, uh, I love this, this is really nice. UAVs low voltage. So, okay, so the drone is 21%. That's why it came home. So we're just gonna hover it, we're just testing it out. So this is under camera mode, so it's actually a lot slower than it normally would be. But this is just camera mode. And as you can see, it's fast. I mean, it's, we're gonna go out here really quickly and now we're gonna bring it back. I mean, it's fast. This thing's got some speed. And I'm doing this with one hand, guys. So that's, so yeah. Let's see, if you press uh, this button, it, it returns home. So it's going over here and it just stops right there. Now let's see what it does. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so there's snow right here. So, but yeah, as you guys saw, it was trying to come back and land right on the same position. It's just there's snow here and it's, you know, not much of a landing area. Hey guys, I normally don't get on here, but I did want to say one thing about this drone that I really love. Um, well, you know, no, it's it's actually the drone in a whole. So the features are really good. The modes are, there's so many modes and so many options. So I'm going to study the manual and probably do a second review update. Uh, but for my first initial, you know, the recording actually works so i can't tell you how many drones that i get you press the record button it says it's recording you turn off the recording you get the drone you take the sd card out you put the sd card in your computer and you realize it didn't even record uh any footage or it's glitchy or something this recorded the footage great you know every time i press the picture button it took a picture every time i press the record button it recorded a video 
So um, I just want to give it praise for that because that's a feat in itself. The return feature is amazing. This one actually returns very accurate very very accurate to the landing zone as you guys saw it was trying to go right back on and we lifted off from that post and if that snow was not there it would have landed on the post right there so it's very accurate uh to come back to you feature works great there's and like i said there's so many features that i have to do i could do a five hour video and probably still only touch 60 percent of the features so this in my honest opinion, is the best drone I've ever reviewed. Um, I love this. I really do love this. And I have maybe used 10% of the features. I, I absolutely just love it. So I just had to get on here. Normally, I don't get on here and make an extra video because it, you know, it takes time. And, no, uh, you know, unless a product really just reaches to me, then I get on here. Just like this one reached to me. I absolutely love it. I, I really do. It's my most favorite drone. Um, and I've reviewed drones that are over $900 and this one is my favorite. So, um, yeah. <laughs>